What's up guys, my name is Josh and uh, welcome to another review and this review is going to cover the Fio, not sure if it's Taejon, Taijain, something along those lines. Anyways, this isn't really going to be a very comprehensive review. This is kind of one of those like almost seal of approval type of reviews. That's me checking this out saying, you know, if I think it's worth purchasing or not. It's one of those products that does exactly what it says it's going to do. It doesn't have any problems doing it. Um, and you know, it's a cheap budget option and I think it's hundred percent worth the money. That being said, I still put this thing through its paces and uh, honestly, I'm going to keep this thing cause I like it a lot. It's very simple, very clean, very, uh, seamless piece of hardware. So since this is an item that's probably not being searched a lot, odds are you're already subscribed to the channel if you're going to see this and you may be wondering what exactly this is. And it's real simple. It's just a DAC. It's an optical or a coaxial input. It is USB powered and there is a little bit of a power brick. I'll show you that here. Um, it's got RCA outs and a headphone out that we'll talk about in a second. And then it has a optical and coaxial switch on the bottom. Now this is a 24 bit DAC. This can work with the TV. It also does work with the computer. Although there's a little bit of caveat for the TV and the computer. With the computer, at least on mine, I was able to control the volume output of this through my computer, you know, volume control. But on a TV, I did not have the same experience. It was, it was all on all the time, like a normal optical output usually is. So I'm not sure if the volume control is gonna work on every PC, but it does work on mine. I run Windows 10, maybe a Windows 10 thing, maybe a hardware thing. I'm not sure. So why that's important is for the RCA, pretty much anything that accepts RCA usually has a volume control on it. So if you are gonna use the 3.5 millimeter out to either a pair of powered speakers or possibly a headphone, make sure you have some sort of volume control in between this and whatever you happen to be running. All right, now the sound portion, and this is where things are just gonna be really brief. Um, pretty much with products like this, I just look for issues. I don't look for stellar, spectacular performance, especially for something that's $20 and works really, really well for everything else. I'm not expecting the sound quality to absolutely blow me away. That being said, I didn't have any issues with this. I, I really looked for obvious sort of jitter or any sort of hesitation that was causing the music to seem a little bit abrupted. I listened for background noise. Guarding the RCA, it's very, very, very clean. On the line out, if I plugged it into a headphone amplifier, it was a little bit less clean, but if I plugged it directly into powered monitors, it wasn't that noticeable of a kind of a background hiss. And that background hiss was not at all noticeable when you're actually playing music, at least in my ears. So overall, it's just a simple and cheap DAC, and that's gonna pretty much be the entire conclusion of this thing is it does what it says it's gonna do. It doesn't have any faults or flaws that I really would hold against it. I don't expect a $20 device such as this to not have any background noise at all and be the cleanest and most spectacular output either. Neither should you, but it does do its job. And that's pretty much gonna lead us into the conclusion. For the price, this thing sounds spectacular. It does exactly what it says it's gonna do with no faults, no issues, and no problems, no hardware to install because it runs off optical or coaxial. And to answer a question you might have, yes, you can run it off of a PC. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. You'll find links to this and uh, some Amazon Basics cables, which I found paired really well with this for a cheap budget, good sounding option. And yeah, links to everything down below. Patreon, if you want to support, I appreciate it if you do. Subscribe if you're not already. I do new videos every single day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.